Hi, Ginger Snaps. We're going to talk about what to look for when you buy a 6.5. You don't want to buy one that's full of hay, like this. Example hay. I mean, hay. Anyways, dad jokes for days around here. So what are we supposed to look at? What are we supposed to do? I mean, they're older trucks now. They're 20 and 30 years old, depending on the model. Even the sheep want to look at it. Make sure the windows work, because AC doesn't 99% of the time. All right, you're gonna check under the hood. What are we gonna check? What are we looking at? Well, it looks like a 6.5. Smells like Smells a 6.5. Like Chances are it's a 6.5. So the things you wanna look at are actually way down there. Down here? Down there. So harmonic balancer. Harmonic balance your pulley. Make sure the rubber's not deteriorated. Make sure it's not like separated, falling apart. Casper's a great example of what happens after you deal with that, because I have a fluid damper on it and an AC Duckho upgraded pulley. So don't have to worry about it anymore. So let's say I really want a 6.5 and that's just, just damaged. How don't, much is it to don't, fix? Don't buy it. Okay, don't even bother. Because if it's been damaged for years, months, thousands of miles, Everything else is jacked. Got it. In a nice way of saying, you'll probably put a crank in it at some point or the blocks end up cracks because once they get off balance, it's just an everlasting cascade of death. Okay, so now that you've looked at your balancer and they look pretty good on here because they were just done 15,000 miles ago. Oh man, I got. Do I have anti cheese? I want to check the coolant. Pretty self explanatory. Truck's not run yet. Notice that? Not a whole bunch of pressure. Look down inside. Rock the truck a little bit. You can sniff. It smells like antifreeze. Doesn't smell like engine oil. Doesn't smell like diesel fuel. It starts to smell like engine, oil, and or coolant. Smell mixed. Walk away. You know that the heads are cracked and um, it's pushing air into the system. So that's where that comes from. Another thing you want to look at is right here. So you've got your fine little injection pump. Oh, what's this pigtail? That pigtail runs all the way up here into the bumper. Right here. That's where your PMD will be relocated to. A lot of guys put them up here under the fender, put them here, put them on the firewall. Some people actually hang them off the hood latch right here. So 94 to 2000. See, the PMD has been re relocated. If not, expect to have to purchase a PMD relocation kit. Another thing you want to look at, brakes. Because you're probably going to use this as a work truck. Hey, look, I still have brake fluid. That's a good thing. Make sure it's full. Make sure it's black, nasty. And make sure that these aren't sucked into the bottom of the master cylinder. Because if these get pulled down, typically signs of a bad booster or bad master cylinder. All right. So we got all that covered. Step back, look at the truck. Check your tires. Make sure you get some of the good rubbers. You don't want cheap tires. You don't want no tires. All right. Oh, I hear the lift pump. Make sure one of those runs. Little plugs come on. Check those things. Go plugs, lift pump. So Check your lift pump if you can't hear it. There's your T valve. You'll want a pair of pliers to open the valve. Have one of your buddies hold that. This is in another video I just recently put together for your roadside assistance. Crack the valve, turn the key on, see if fuel comes out. If it does, 
you're in pretty good shape and you really have nothing to worry about at that point because the lift pump works. So yeah, when you're looking at a 6.5, those are the main key things. Obviously, being a GMT 400, you guys know. Check the rear brakes, check brake pedal firmness, check fuel lines, check brake lines, check the front suspension and make sure that nothing's all wobbled out because they are, like I said, 25, 30 years old at this point. Turbo function, obviously this truck has a 60 millimeter S300 on it. You'll check your wastegate here on the side of a stock turbo to make sure that one, the spring gate actuates up and down or front to back depending on the age. And also make sure that none of the check engine lights are on. Check engine lights on, get it scanned, check for wastegate control solenoid failure, wastegate control failure, or check for injection pump control pulse high or low, which is typically a sign of a soon to be failing injection pump. So now we've looked it over, the truck looks good. I'd buy it twice, but that's because I've had it for nine years and it's done everything with me. So hopefully it helps some of you guys in your six, five searches since I know they're new owners looking at the channel. And on top of that, if you buy one that already has an HX turbo swap on it, even better. Have a good afternoon, guys.